هو الحي لا إله إلا هو فادعوه مخلصين له الدين الحمد لله رب العالمين هو الحي لا إله إلا هو he is the one who's alive and everything else is dead everything else is dead هو الحي he is the one who's alive فادعوه مخلصين له الدين and so call on him with sincerity keeping deen for him and what did we say deen was deen is الحمد لله Keep the praise for Allah. Keep the presence on Allah. Keep looking at Allah. And when you do that, you're manifesting your slavehood to Allah Azza wa Jal, and that makes Tawheed come into this. That makes Tawheed manifest. And in doing so, you and I are realizing our purpose of life. فَدْعُوهُ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ And what is that? الحمد لله رب العالمين. He says it here in his book. He says it in the ayat. فَدْعُوهُ لَهُ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ فَدْعُوهُ Mukhlisina Lahuddin, the secret way of calling on Allah Azza wa Jal in such a way that we have sincerity and what we're calling on is to say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wallahi, the most difficult thing. When someone is angry, when you're angry and someone tells you, say Alhamdulillah. <laughs> you just stop. You know it's true. Say Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> It brings you right back to Tawheed. That anger brought you into poly- that anger brings you into multiplicity. That anger brings you into thinking that everything is against you. Wallahi, if everything is against you and Allah is with you, who cares? And the opposite is true. Allah said, "Qul alhamdulillahi wa salamun ala ibadihi alladina astafa." Allah said, "In this maqam of, of iman, uh, of Islam, in this maqam of orders and commands, Allah said, "Qul alhamdulillah." Say it. Alhamdulillahi wa salamun ala ibadihi alladhin astafa When you say that, there will be peace upon the ones that Allah has chosen. In other words, you and I, when we say Alhamdulillah, we are chosen to say that. It's the most difficult thing for a human being to do is to realize that hamd is not for him. That praise is not for him, or praise is not for her, or what they have created, or, have, or what they like, or what they don't like. It's the most difficult thing for us. When you say Alhamdulillah, it crushes everything. Everything is erased. And this makes an individual chosen. The chosen slaves of God. I want to be chosen. Pick me. Allah, who khayru mimma yushrikun. And to prove that point, he said, He is better than that which they associate with him. He is better than that which they associate with him. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهُ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا And again, this idea of turning back to him. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ And mention the perfection of your Lord, the praise of your Lord, the virtue of your Lord. And the secret behind doing that is it causes you and I to fall in love. We fall in love with all kinds of things because of the good qualities we think are inside of them. Hey brother, did you hear about the sister so-and-so? She's interested in you. Oh really? What does she look like? <laughs> Not like, you know, is she a good person? <laughs> that, you know, that'll come later. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. But uh, what's she look like? <laughs> well, I can't describe her too much, brother. You know how it is. But I will let you know that she has virtues. Oh, word. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, all right. His heart is starting to incline. Huh. Then when he finds out that she has a good temperament, she's not quick to get angry, his heart inclines more. And then, unfortunately, because of the way things are nowadays, when he finds out she actually prays five times a day, performs, she's already performed hajj, she pays the cat, she's busy in the community and wants to have a gang of your kids. <laughs> then you say, all right, I'm totally in love. Because of qualities, virtuous characteristics that are there. When we mention Allah's qualities to ourselves, when we hear that, just hearing the dhikr of Allah, Wallahi, just sitting in a place where dhikr of Allah is being done, you don't even have to do it. Your heart inclines. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Malik, Al-Quddus, Al-Salam, Al-Mu'min. Oh, especially if you know the language. May Allah, may Allah make us lovers, make us fall in love. And all of this is at this level of Iman, the first level of Deen, the first level of Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, the first level of Tawheed. وَسِيكُ بَتَّقِ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلَّهُ وَيَسَّمِ مَطَاعَ إِنَّهُ هُوَ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ وَلَكِنَّ عَذَابُهُ هُوَ شَدِيدٌ لَكِنَّ عَذَابُهُ هُوَ شَدِيدٌ 
ونسأل الله عز وجل التوفيق في أمة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ظاهرا وباطنا والحمد لله رب العالمين واستغفروه يا قوم إنه هو الفر الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتون إلا وأنتم مسلمون لا تموتون إلا وأنتم مسلمون and continuing in this idea of the breakdown of our relationship and how Tawheed is manifested in Alhamdulillah, we come to the second phase, which is the phase of Iman. At the phase of Iman, when a person has traveled and has, re- has tahqiq, has realized the all pra- the completely, absolutely and totally praiseworthy nature of the Creator and Sustainer and their Maker of the world, subhanahu wa ta'ala, their heart has been snatched. Their heart has been taken. Their body, just like for example, when you and I face the Qibla. When you and I face the Qibla, you should, make, you should face the Qibla when praying Salat. It's helpful because it makes it acceptable. <laughs> you and I should face the Qibla when we make Dua. You and I should face the Qibla when you and I make Dhikr. You and I should face the Qibla when we read Quran. You and I should face the Qibla in all moments when we're trying to draw close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because it conditions the body. Uh, it conditions the heart rather. The body is positioning, conditions the heart, so that when you have consistency in facing in one direction all the time, your heart has focus. When the heart is focused on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by realizing then, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillahu walillahi li. When the heart realizes, Alhamdu is for Allah, praise is for Allah, and lillah, and for God is me. When that happens in a person's heart, nothing tastes good anymore. And may Allah make the world bitter for us. Taste wise, I don't mean experientially. <laughs> May he make it bitter that the veil itself becomes bitter and we want, we want what's behind the veil. He said, وَقُولِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي لَمْ يَتَّقِذْ وَلَدَى وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ شَرِيكٌ فِي الْمُلْكِ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ وَلِيٌّ مِنْ, uh, من الدُّلِّ وَكَبِّرْهُ تَكْبِيرًا He said in another verse, now it's going further inside. There are certain things that you and I can see without having experienced them. We know that Allah Azza wa Jal, that He hasn't taken a child. We know that Allah Azza wa Jal was never born. We know that He's above and beyond these kinds of things. And we realize in that reality, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, that we have a belief, something that you and I cannot touch. You cannot, I cannot, you cannot make paradise appear before me. I believe in that. I believe in the promises of Allah more importantly. Those promises because of my moving forward. Look at the lives of the Sahaba, you'll find that in their lives, they were always told to move first, then Allah's promise came. We are being told to move now, and we don't want to move because we don't believe in the promises. By Allah, I am telling you, by Allah, if you make that move, Allah will never fail you. By Allah. There are people in this room right now who can tell you that they've just experienced that. They went to Allah, they asked Allah, and Allah opened it up for them. You cannot go to Allah, and come on, I think Allah is treacherous like that. Never. Never. Going towards Allah Azza wa Jal, it causes the heart to open up even more. Because when you, when you make that leap of faith and you find big open fuzzy arms grabbing you, and want to take you to Chuck E. Cheese, then you realize, man, I should do that again. It felt great. That's called Iman. That's called faith. When that happens, we, can, we see the reality of these verses when Allah says, وَقُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ سَيُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِهِ فَتَعْرِفُونَهَا وَمَا رَبُّكَ بِغَافِرٍ أَمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ And say, you and I are in this place of hearing commands. We, were, we are Muslim. We believe. We have, we have Islam. And Allah tells us, say something. We bring ourselves forward. وَقُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ Say الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ Just by saying it. سَيُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِهِ As a result, He is going to show you His signs. سَيُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِهِ تَعْرِفُونَهَا وَمَا رَبُّكَ بِغَافِرٍ أَمَّا تَعْمَنُونَ And you will know them. <coughs> a heart that can see, a heart that has iman, that his vision has been opened, can see the signs of Allah, can see the promises of Allah, and sees the most difficult of situations as an opportunity. And as a result, their body, because of now the heart is in control. At the level of iman, the heart is in control. When the heart is in control, the heart sees something, it makes a move, what's the body going to do? Hey, I don't want to go. <laughs> Too bad, my heart's in love. And when a person in that state, their heart is pulling them, the state of Iman, when they see, they're not seeing with their eyes anymore. They see with their Iman. And that's why he says, Sayyidikim ayatihi, he's going to show you his signs. And they're going to know it. 
May Allah make us those who see. At that point, and may Allah make us of those who are from this blessed group, they realize the third dimension, the highest level of deen. Deen is Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. The first level was knowing Alhamdulillah. That's Iman. Isla uh, that's Islam. Iman is uh, seeing Alhamdulillah. By seeing the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third one is being Alhamdulillah. The third one is being Tawheed. It's being Alhamdulillah. It's experiencing and being in that space, in that place where a person is themselves, every, every cell in their body says Allah. And anything other than that makes them feel sick. Allah said, فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُنْ وَكُنْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ He said, and praise your Lord by, by His, and, and mention His praise rather. وَكُنْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ In other words, and be of those who submit. And be in the state of Alhamdulillah. How are you going to be? How are you going to be sajid? How are you going to be prostrating while you have to go to work? Right? Someone comes into the, into the shop, you're in, you're in salat, they want to ring up the register, and they come over, and you're in sajda. So, that's not what it means. But kun mina sajideen, it means be of those people who have submitted themselves outwardly and inwardly. In other words, let this be your state. But kun mina sajideen, once the heart makes sajda one time, it will never come up. Once the heart makes sajda one time, it never comes up. Once your heart makes sajda, it never ever wants to get up. May Allah make our hearts have sujood. وَهُوَ اللَّهُ لَا إِلَهِ اللَّهُ لَهُ الْحَمْدُ فِي الْأُولَى وَالْآخِرَةِ وَلَهُ الْحُكُمُ وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ Allah says in this station of ihsan, in this station of excellence, وَهُوَ اللَّهُ and He is Allah. لَا إِلَهِ اللَّهُ There is no God but He and there is the Iman. لَهُ الْحَمْدُ For Him is the praise. فِي الْأُولَى وَالْآخِرَةِ In the beginning and the end, in other words, forever and ever and ever and ever. وَلَهُ الْحُكُمْ And, for, and him is, for Him is the ruling. In other, words, in other words, don't worry about anything that's happening right now. It's His hukum. It's what Allah wants to do. But you know, the, you, know, you know the lawgiver. You know the one establishing everything. You, you have it in good with Him. He says after that, وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ And this is the part that we're talking about of Ihsan. At this particular point, an individual is, to, is because of the realizing the realities behind these verses, realizing the reality of the relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the relationship of this deen, which is to say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. At this place and at this point, they are constantly turning back to Allah. Wa ilayhi turja'un. And to Him, they're always turning. Again, think about these verses. How are you going to be always returning to Allah? If I'm constantly returning, I'm doing a constant U-turn. A constant U-turn is a circle. Why is Abdul Latif walking around in circles? Oh, he's one of those people who's returning. <laughs> it doesn't mean that. It means that constantly my heart is throwing me back in Allah's presence. Throwing me back in Allah Ta'ala's presence. When my nafs starts to pull me out, the heart says, no, 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 no. No, no, you, don't, you, know, you, for, you, don't, you forgot. This is where it's at. وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ And to him they are constantly returning. May Allah make us of those who return. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُكْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةَ أَنُشْكُ لِلَّهِ وَمَنْ يَشْكُرْ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِي وَمَنْ كَفَرَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَنِيٌّ حَمِيدٌ The hikmah that Sayyidina Luqman alayhi salatu salam, an African, he said, وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُكْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةَ And about him Allah said he gave him hikmah. He gave him knowledge. In other words, he gave him ma'rifah. He gave him knowledge of himself. In other words, to thank Allah. That's the hikmah. That's the whole point of the whole thing. That's the whole point of the whole deen. It's to say, thank you God. And whoever shows appreciation, He only shows appreciation for the benefit of his, his or her own self. Well, in such a way that we have sincerity and what we're calling on is to say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wallahi, the most difficult thing. When someone is angry, when you're angry and someone tells you, say Alhamdulillah. <laughs> you just, <laughs> you know it's true. 
Say Alhamdulillah. <laughs> purpose of life. Fadu'uhu mukhlisin lahu deen. And what is that? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. He says it here in his book. He says it in the ayat. Fadu'uhu lahu mukhlisin lahu deen. Fadu'uhu mukhlisin lahu deen. The secret way of calling on Allah Azza wa Jalla. Call on Him with a sincerity. Keeping deen for Him. And what did we say deen was? Deen is Alhamdulillah. Keep the praise for Allah. Keep the presence on Allah. Keep looking at Allah. And when you do that, you're manifesting your slavehood to Allah Azza wa Jalla. And that makes Tawheed come into this. That makes Tawheed manifest. And in doing so, you and I are realizing our Alhamdulillah. <laughs> It brings you right back to Tawheed. That anger brought you into poly- that anger brings you into multiplicity. That anger brings you into thinking that everything is against you. Wallahi, if everything is against you and Allah is with you, who cares? And the opposite is true. Allah said, "Qul alhamdulillahi wa salamun ala ibadihi aladin astafa." Who will hail you? La ilaha illahu. Fadhuhu mukhlisin alahu din. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Who will hire you? La ilaha illahu. He is the one who's alive. And everything else is dead. Everything else is dead. Who will hire you? He's the one who's alive. Fad'uhu mukhlisin Allahuddin. And so 